Hello all, this is Must Electronics. Today, we will explore OLED interfaces with ST microcontroller. In the previous video, we have shown how to make connections and flash the code to STM32. If you have not seen that video, click the i button above and watch the full video. Hope you guys have seen that video. Ok, let's continue. Now, we have all the connections and STM32 cube IDE ready. Let's start to explore all the interfaces available for OLED one by one. Turn display white. First, we need to initialize OLED. Change display color to white using this function. 1 for white, 0 for black. Then, update the screen. Save the file and flash the program. Here, we can see the display turned white. Draw a slant line by updating pixel with white color. At the end, we will run all the interfaces together. So, let's comment the previous code as of now. Initialize OLED. We can draw pixel with black or white color using this function. As we need to draw line, we have to draw multiple pixels. Here, let's use a for loop to draw multiple pixels. I have given 30 count in for loop. So, we will be drawing 30 pixels. Then, update the screen and flash the program. We can see the slant line in the display. Display text. Initialize OLED. Go to the coordinate where we need to display text. And add text. Update screen and flash the program. We can see must electronic displayed here. Invert color. Initialize OLED. Add text to display. Invert color using this function. Update screen. Let's give 5 second delay and invert the color again. Text displaying with white background. After 5 seconds, it changed to black background and even the text color changed accordingly. Isn't that amazing? Draw lines. Initialize OLED. Copy draw line function by passing first two parameters with coordinates for the start of the line and next two parameters with end line coordinates and then the color. Here, let's draw line from top left to bottom right and bottom left to top right. Let's see after flashing. Yes, the two lines are displayed as expected. Draw rectangle. Initialize OLED. Draw rectangle by passing coordinates of top left and bottom right. We can see the rectangle on OLED. Draw filled rectangle. Initialize OLED. Draw filled rectangle by passing coordinates of top left and bottom right. 
update screen and flash the program. A filled rectangle is available on display. Draw triangle. Initialize OLED. To draw triangle, we need to pass three coordinates. Update screen and flash the program. We can see triangle on display. Draw filled triangle. Initialize OLED. Draw filled triangle and flash the program. Filled triangle is available on display. Draw circle. Initialize OLED. To draw circle, we need to pass center coordinate and radius. Update screen and flash the program. Circle is displayed here. Draw filled circle. Initialize OLED. Draw filled circle and flash the program. Filled circle displayed on OLED. Draw filled circle and scroll right. Initialize OLED. Draw filled circle and scroll entire screen from page 0 to page 7. Wow! The circle is moving right. Draw filled circle and scroll left. Initialize OLED. Draw filled circle and scroll entire screen from page 7 to page 0. Now, the circle is moving left. Display image. To display image, we need to convert image to bitmap. For that, we need to go to this website. Link is available in the description. Select an image here with dimension 128 into 64 pixels. Here, I will select Must Electronics Profile Image. I have used paint to resize. You can change the background color, invert image color, brightness and so on. I will keep everything as it is. Finally, click on Generate Code. An array of bitmap will be generated. Copy this array to bitmap.h file. Pass this variable to draw bitmap function with dimension. Update screen and flash the program. Here, we can see Must Electronics profile picture on OLED display. Now, let's display all interfaces together which we had run today. Uncomment previous code. Add OLED initialization only at starting and remove or comment in all other places. Add some delay between all the interfaces to make the changes visible. And clear display before running next interface.
After scrolling, stop scrolling to not have any impact onto the next interface. Flash the program and let's see. OK, that's great. All the interfaces are running one by one as expected. That's all we have for OLED interfaces. In the next video, we will try animation. Hope you are excited to do animation. If you like the video, give thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting things. Share your thoughts on this in the comment box. And if you want to learn anything new, please do let us know we will try to cover that in our upcoming videos.